What the hell is wrong with you? What, did you think he was gonna hack me up into little pieces or something? <laughs> The 2024 horror movie lineup has multitudes of exciting and chilling stories, both fresh and familiar. With multiple reboots, remakes, and originals, 2024 seems like a good year for horror movies, as much so as it does for the superhero genre. I think credit should go to the end of the writer's strike, as it now seems studios are rushing to get their projects released. But then again, horror films have been a significant part of Hollywood for years, and this trend continues into 2024, with studios embracing the demand for these spine-tingling tales. Notable filmmakers such as M. Night Shyamalan, Jordan Peele, Tim Burton, Radio Silence's dynamic duo, and Ty West have a lot in store. Simultaneously, modern franchises like A Quiet Place and age-old franchises like Alien are making comebacks with fresh installments. In this video, we will explore all the 25 major horror movies that will grace the theatres or TV screens in 2024. So let's begin, shall we? Just before we go into the video, we have a small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. It's a small click for you, but for us, it means an awful lot. Thank you very much. Now let's begin. A Quiet Place, day one, March 8th, 2024. The A Quiet Place franchise is making its return in 2024 with the highly anticipated release of A Quiet Place Day One. Serving as a prequel to the preceding installments, this movie transports us to the fateful day when menacing aliens first plunged humanity into chaos. This time, director Michael Cernowski takes the helm, succeeding John Krasinski. The film introduces a fresh ensemble of actors, including the Oscar-winning actress Lupita Nyong'o, Joseph Quinn from Stranger Things, and Alex Wolfe. Additionally, Jaiman Honsu reprises his role after appearing in A Quiet Place Part 2. The franchise's earlier entries, A Quiet Place, and its sequel, A Quiet Place Part 2, enjoyed immense success. The original film even earned Emily Blunt a SAG award and an Oscar nomination for Best Sound Editing. With A Quiet Place Day 1, the story delves into the origins of the alien invasion, providing a fresh perspective and expanding the franchise's narrative. While A Quiet Place Part 3 is slated to continue the journey of the Abbott family in 2025, this prequel film will add more depth to their story and build more anticipation for that sequel. We need to save them here and now. March, bring me in. Here they want to know. Alien, Romulus, August 16th, 2024. The Alien franchise is set to make a comeback in 2024 with Alien Romulus serving as the seventh installment in the live action series. While it shares the same universe as its predecessors, it doesn't feature characters from the earlier installments. Directed by Fede Alvarez and featuring Isabel Merced and Kaylee Spaney, the plot details remain shrouded in secrecy. However, we do know that the movie will be a standalone film about a group of young people who find themselves facing the xenomorph in a distant world. Disney and 20th Century are gearing up for an August 16th release. Fede Alvarez, a dedicated fan of the franchise, originally pitched his concept for an alien sequel to Ridley Scott several years ago. Scott's interest in the idea was rekindled in 2021 when he inquired if Alvarez was still up for the task. Alvarez's passion for the project ensures that this installment will explore uncharted territory untethered from the storylines of its predecessors. The Watchers, June 7th, 2024. Ishana Shyamalan, in her directorial debut, is set to bring her vision to the upcoming horror mystery film The Watchers. Stepping out from her father, M. Night Shyamalan's shadow, Ishana has been honing her skills by collaborating on projects like the Apple TV series The Servant. This film is an adaptation of A.M. Shine's novel, following the journey of 28-year-old Mina through the western Irish countryside. After her car breaks down, Mina begins on foot in search of help. While wandering through the forest, she encounters encounters a strange woman urging her to enter a nearby concrete bunker. Inside the bunker, she meets three equally terrified strangers. As the door closes, leaving them in darkness, an automatic light reveals a glass wall to the outside. Once night falls, monstrous underground creatures emerge from the forest depths to observe those trapped within the enclosure. Mina and her fellow captives find themselves on display like zoo animals, with no knowledge of what the Watchers want or the consequences of failing to reach the bunker before nightfall. Dakota Fanning is set to play the lead role of Mina, a struggling artist who earns her rent through commissioned paintings and card games at her local pub in Galway, Ireland. To be honest, The Watchers promises an intriguing blend of terror and mystery, driven by a talented cast and Ishana Shyamalan's directorial flair. 
Mystery Jordan Peele movie, December 25th, 2024. Jordan Peele, renowned for his thought-provoking and genre-bending films, made more waves in 2022 with his third directorial effort, Nope. Just like his previous works, Nope concealed deeper themes beneath its genre plot, focusing on concepts like society's fixation on spectacle. While the details of Peele's upcoming film remain shrouded in mystery, there's one thing fans can mark on their calendars. It's set to hit the theatres on Christmas 2024. This yet-to-be-named project will be the fourth collaboration between Peel and Universal. Peel expressed his gratitude for Universal's unwavering support, acknowledging that his previous films might not have materialised without their backing. The director praised the studio's willingness to take creative risks and their commitment to original content. This announcement suggests that like his previous works, Peel's fourth directorial effort will bring an original narrative to the screen. Universal in turn expressed their excitement to continue their partnership with Peel, highlighting his role in leading a new New generation of filmmakers who tap into the cultural zeitgeist with groundbreaking content that resonates across diverse audiences. Return to Silent Hill, April 26th, 2024. Silent Hill fans have reason to rejoice as a new cinematic installment titled Return to Silent Hill is set to hit theatres in 2024. With this, the series will return to the big screen after a hiatus of over a decade. Drawing inspiration from the game Silent Hill 2, this movie brings the eerie and unsettling atmosphere of those games to life. The story revolves around James Sunderland, portrayed by Jeremy Irvine, who finds himself on a disturbing journey back to Silent Hill in search of his lost love. His quest is sparked by a mysterious letter which promises hope for a reunion with his beloved. However, upon his return, James encounters a transformed and diabolical Silent Hill. As he delves deeper into the nightmarish town, James comes across a host of terrifying and uncanny figures, some familiar and others entirely unknown. Plagued by doubts about his own sanity, he grapples with the blurry boundary between reality and delusion. Yes, James strives to decipher the riddles of Silent Hill, but struggles to hold on to his sanity. The film, slated for release on April 26th, 2024, is sure to rekindle the chilling universe of the Silent Hill franchise for both ardent fans and newcomers. Beetlejuice 2, September 6th, 2024. After years of anticipation, Beetlejuice 2 is finally in production, bringing a long-awaited sequel to Tim Burton's iconic 1988 classic. This eerie yet darkly comedic tale left an indelible mark on cinema and turned Burton into a celebrated filmmaker with memorable roles for Winona Ryder and Michael Keaton. While it spawned an animated series, video games and a Broadway musical, a sequel remained mired in development limbo. Given all of this, Michael Keaton's return as Beetlejuice is a significant milestone for Beetlejuice 2, and the ensemble cast is shaping up impressively. Winona Ryder reprises her role as Lydia Dietz, retaining her iconic gothic look. Catherine O'Hara returns as the stylish Delia Dietz. Beetlejuice 2 introduces fresh faces to the mix, including Willem Dafoe, who portrays an afterlife law enforcer, embracing his unique brand of theatricality. The cast also features Monica Bellucci, playing Beetlejuice's wife, adding intriguing dynamics to the story. Furthermore, the super talented Jenna Ortega will play Lydia's daughter. However, Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis won't return as Adam and Barbara Maitland. While specific plot details remain under wraps, the reunion of Keaton and Ryder is something that many can't keep calm about. Smile 2, October 18th, 2024. Smile 2 is in the works at Paramount following the surprising success of its predecessor. The first film followed Dr. Rose Cotter, who had seven days to escape a vengeful demon after witnessing her patient's death. Initially intended for a streaming release on Paramount+, Plus, Smile's positive test audience reactions led to a theatrical release, which in turn led to the inception of this sequel. Despite a confirmed release date, details about Smile 2 remain shrouded in mystery. The original delved into themes of grief and trauma. While its ending hinted at a sequel around Joel, it's uncertain whether the second instalment will continue this thread or introduce a new protagonist contending with the malevolent Smile entity. Smile 2 holds the potential for multiple plot directions. One possibility is to follow Joel as he grapples with the curse after witnessing Rose's fate and attempts to continue her investigation. As the last person to see Rose alive, he would face immense pressure to uncover answers while racing against a seven-day deadline. Director Parker Finn's comments suggest that Smile 2 could also take the form of a prequel or spin-off. 
Horoscope, June 28th, 2024. Jacob Batalon is set to plunge into the horror genre with an upcoming film in 2024. Known for his roles alongside Tom Holland in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Spider-Man movies, Batalon is taking the lead in this new movie. This horror film revolves around a group of friends whose deaths become mysteriously linked via their horoscopes. The movie is a directorial debut for Spencer Cohen and Anna Helberg, both established writers in the industry. In addition to Batalon, the cast includes notable names like Umberly Gonzalez, Owen Ferrer, Alana Bowden, and others. Set against the backdrop of college life, Horoscope will explore the unsettling connections between fate and death, offering a unique twist to the horror genre. Trap, August 2nd, 2024. M. Night Shyamalan, the renowned filmmaker known for his unique storytelling and mind-bending plots, has an upcoming project titled Trap. Details are sparse, but it's expected to feature the signature Shyamalan twists and surprises. Trap is scheduled for a theatrical release on August 2nd, 2024. Shyamalan has expressed his excitement about this film, describing it as a departure from his recent works. Interestingly, this film is Shyamalan's transition from Universal to Warner Brothers Pictures Group. Under a new agreement announced in February, Shyamalan and his production company, Blinding Edge Pictures, will collaborate with Warner Brothers on original projects for production and direction. Shyamalan shared his sentiments on this change, emphasising the importance of where he writes and directs, referring to his creative space as a home. I previously mentioned that M. Night Shyamalan's daughter, Ashana, is set to make her directorial debut with The Watchers, a gothic fairy tale. With Trap and The Watchers, the Shyamalan family is contributing to the world of cinema in unique and exciting ways in 2020. Marco. <laughs> Night Swim, January 5th. 2024. Night Swim is set to kick off the 2024 movie lineup as the first horror film to grace theatres. This movie, based on director Bryce Maguire's 2014 short film of the same name, stars Oscar nominee Kerry Condon as the protagonist, who goes for a nighttime swim and encounters a malevolent spirit, which basically makes swimming pools a lot scarier. Wyatt Russell, Nancy Lenehan, and Brian Sinclair play supporting roles. Horror enthusiasts can look forward to the film's theatrical release on January 5th, 2024. The trailer for Night Swim offers a glimpse into the film's plot. Russell portrays a former Major League Baseball player forced into early retirement due to a degenerative disease. He relocates with his wife to a new home, aspiring to use the shimmering backyard swimming pool for physical therapy and family enjoyment. However, the home holds a dark secret from its past and releases an evil force that terrorises the family. Bryce McGuire, the filmmaker behind the original short, returns to write and direct the feature-length version. With the success of their previous collaboration, Megan, which grossed $181 million on a $12 million budget, James Wan and Jason Bloom's decision to back McGuire sounds like it makes good sense. Imaginary, February 2nd, 2024. Imaginary is the latest horror offering from director Jeff Wadlow, known for films such as Truth or Dare and Fantasy Island. Produced by Bloomhouse, this seemingly spine-chilling tale revolves around a woman portrayed by Betty Buckley who revisits her childhood home and discovers that her long-forgotten imaginary friend is all too real. The movie follows her unsettling reunion with this imaginary companion after so many years of separation. Joining the cast are Veronica Falcone, Dane Diliegro, and Matthew Saito. Imaginary is set to send shivers down the audience's spine when it debuts in theatres on February 2nd, 2024. Or maybe it won't send any shivers. There's only one way to find out. Baghead, February 8th, 2024. The upcoming horror film Baghead, slated for a February 2024 release, delves into a tale of supernatural encounters. The film follows Kevin, a man burdened by grief and seeking answers only the departed can provide. His quest leads him to a seemingly ordinary storage room in a shabby pub. However, inside these unassuming confines, he encounters Baghead, a shape-shifting witch with a unique ability to connect with the deceased. Directed by Alberto Corridor, Baghead is his feature-length directorial debut, expanding on his earlier short film of the same name. The cast includes Freya Allen from The Witcher, Jeremy Irvine of Treadstone fame, and notable actors such as Saffron Burroughs and Peter Mullen. With its intriguing premise, Baghead promises to be a captivating exploration of the supernatural and the unexplained. Speak No Evil, August 9th, 2024. In 2024, James McAvoy, along with others, will star in the American remake of the 2022 Danish film Speak No Evil. Directed by James Watkins, this film is about a vacation that takes a nightmarish turn during a family's weekend country trip. The film from Denmark revolves around a Danish couple, Bjorn and Louise, and their daughter Agnes, who cross paths with a Dutch couple, Patrick and Karen, and their son Abel, during their Tuscan holiday. A seemingly friendly invitation from the Dutch couple leads the Danish 
family to visit their remote rural house in the Netherlands. However, the trip takes an eerie twist as the host's passive-aggressive behaviours, including ignoring Louise's vegetarianism, mistreating Abel and Karen's use of profanities, create discomfort and misunderstandings. The film delves into the unsettling dynamics that unfold during their stay. Speak No Evil stars McAvoy, Scott McNary and Mackenzie Davis, and it falls under the psychological thriller horror genre. After seeing McAvoy in Split, I think his casting in Speak No Evil is damn near perfect. Maxine, to be decided, 2024. The X franchise is expanding with a third installment titled Maxine. This movie continues the story after the events of the 2022 film X and centers around Mia Goth's character Maxine, who was the sole survivor of the original Farmhouse Massacre. X, released in 2022, garnered praise for its homage to classic slasher films and the standout performances of Mia Goth, Brittany Snow and Jenna Ortega. The surprising announcement of a prequel titled Pearl, which serves as the origin story of the character character Pearl was made during the premiere of X at South by Southwest in 2022. Following Pearl's world premiere at the Venice International Film Festival in September 2022, the creators revealed that a third film was in development. In April 2023, the film's star-studded cast was officially announced. The official logline for Maxine outlines the story with Maxine, played by Mia Goth, embarking on a journey towards fame as she aspires to become an actress in 1980s Los Angeles. The film delves into the world of underground filmmaking. Maxine character is poised to undergo remarkable adventures as she deals with this new chapter in her life. Thread, an insidious tale, to be decided, 2024. The Insidious franchise, renowned for its supernatural horror and practical effects, is about to get its first spin-off with Thread, an insidious tale. Originating in 2010, the Insidious series produced by Bloomhouse Productions has been a box office sensation, earning over $100 million with each installment, all created on modest budgets. This commercial triumph has prompted the expansion of the series into a cinematic universe, with hints of potential crossovers with other Bloomhouse horror properties. Thread is set to be a standalone entry, but could potentially spark another string of horror movies. The casting of Mandy Moore and Kamal Nanjiani portraying an unmarried couple is one of the few developments that we know about. Lin Shay, a veteran in the horror genre, is also expected to join the cast, given her recurring roles as Elise Rayner throughout the Insidious series. While the specific plot details of Thread and Insidious Tale remain vague, it adheres to the familiar Insidious formula. In the movie, Nanjiani and Moore would use a magical spell to journey back in time and prevent their daughter's death. As they delve into forces beyond their control, the film is likely to explore the eerie realm of the further. Terrifier 3, to be decided, 2024. The much-anticipated Terrifier 3 is generating significant buzz following the breakout success of Terrifier 2 in 2022. Directed by Damien Leone, the Terrifier franchise, centred around the silent killer Art the Clown, has been steadily amassing a devoted fanbase. Art first made his eerie debut in the 2008 short film The Ninth Circle and later appeared in the 2013 anthology All Hallows' Eve before headlining his solo movie Terrifier in 2016. While the original Terrifier went somewhat under the radar, Terrifier 2 brought Art the Clown to the forefront, attracting a larger audience with its shocking and gruesome horror. Following its release, it gained notoriety for causing some viewers to faint due to its relentless scares and violence. Terrifier 3 is set to conclude Damien Leone's horror trilogy, continuing the nightmarish journey initiated from the first film. The ending of Terrifier 2 saw Art the Clown decapitated by Sienna, only for his associate, the little pale girl, to carry off his severed head. Moreover, an end credit scene revealed Art's return as his decapitated head grinned in a mental institution. While the specific storyline for Terrifier 3 remains undisclosed, Leone has promised that it will be the most frightening installment yet. He aims to recapture the eerie atmosphere of the original Terrifier short film, emphasising the return to the franchise's roots and providing an authentically spooky experience. Suicide or both? The Conjuring Last Rites In October 2022, James Wan, the mastermind behind The Conjuring franchise, officially confirmed that The Conjuring 4 is in the works. New Line Cinema is gearing up for the production of this next installment, and it will be penned by David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick, known for his work on The Conjuring 2 and The Conjuring 3. James Wan and Peter Safran will return as co-producers for The Conjuring Last Rites. Wan has hinted that The Conjuring 4 may mark the culmination of the franchise. He emphasised the importance of taking their time to ensure that they 
tell the Warren stories with the right emotion, hinting that the next installment might be potentially the one that wraps up the saga. Nevertheless, this doesn't spell the end of storytelling in the Conjuring universe. There's words of a Conjuring TV series in development on HBO Max, which will pick up where the films conclude. Details on the series are scant, as it was only announced in April 2023. Still, it aims to continue the narrative left off at the movies. As for The Conjuring Last Rites, the storyline remains a mystery. Given that The Devil Made Me Do It concluded in 1981, it's likely that the new movie will be based in the 1980s. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga are set to reprise their roles as Ed and Lorraine Warren, and they had numerous cases during that decade that could serve as the basis for this upcoming film. One possibility is the Smurl haunting case, which The Warrens investigated in 1986. The Crow reboot to be decided, 2024. After almost three decades since the 1994 original, The Crow is set to make a return to the screens. This reboot, stuck in development limbo for 15 years, now edges closer to a release date. Directed by Rupert Sanders and penned by Zach Balin, it offers a modern reimagining of James O'Barr's 1989 graphic novel. In the lead role of this dark revenge saga is Bill Skarsgård, poised to breathe new life into The Crow. In 1994, The Crow featured Brandon Lee as Eric Drake. Raven, the undead Avenger, known as the Crow. Tragically, Brandon Lee lost his life in an accident on set during filming. Nevertheless, the original film became a cult classic and anticipation for the Crow reboot has been steadily rising since, especially considering the long and tumultuous path it's taken to production. Bill Skarsgård's casting in this lead role has been one of the most speculated aspects of the reboot, largely due to the tragic shadow cast by Brandon Lee. The reboot's plot will align with the original film and the graphic novel, telling the story of musician Eric Draven and his fiancée Shelley, who fall victim to a brutal attack. Shelley is sexually assaulted and they both lose their lives. Eric is then resurrected by a mystical crow, establishing a telepathic bond with the bird, all to exact revenge. What ensues is a profoundly dark tale of vengeance as the crow, a gothic antihero, methodically tracks down and eliminates his murderers. They Listen. Originally slated for an August 25th, 2023 release, They Listen experienced a shift in its premiere date due to Sony's extensive film schedule reshuffling. Amidst these changes, including the postponement of highly anticipated titles like Craven the Hunter, Bad Boys 4, and Venom 3, horror films have been proving their box office appeal all the same. So the reshuffling for They Listen doesn't necessarily equate to the film's quality. While the plot of They Listen remains a mystery, what is clear is that this Bloomhouse production boasts an impressive creative team. The movie is written and directed by Chris Weitz, a seasoned filmmaker with a diverse Hollywood portfolio. He's co-directed films like American Pie, Down to Earth, and About a Boy with his brother Paul Weitz, and later ventured into solo directing with the fantasy feature The Golden Compass. Weitz's filmography extends to titles like Twilight New Moon, Operation Finale, and he's credited for scripting Rogue One, The Mountain Between Us, and the upcoming Gareth Roberts sci-fi thriller The Creator. Which board to be decided, 2024. In 2024, the classic 1986 film Which Board will get a fresh lease of life in a remake directed by Chuck Russell, who also co-wrote the script alongside Greg McKay. The film boasts a promising cast featuring Madison Eisman, Aaron Dominguez, Jamie Campbell Bower, Charlie Tahan, and Antonia Desplat. While the exact release date remains shrouded in mystery, anticipation is building for this supernatural thriller. The story centers on Emily, Christian, and their friends who open an organic cafe in the heart of the the French Quarter of New Orleans. Their journey takes an ominous turn when Emily stumbles upon an ancient pendulum board used for summoning spirits. Concerned for her well-being, Christian seeks the guidance of an occult expert named Alexander Baptiste. Baptiste holds the knowledge that bloodlines tie them to the mysterious witch board. As the story progresses, the film introduces a modern coven of white witches, a mysterious masked ball at Baptiste's mansion, and the legacy of Naga Soth, the Queen of Witches. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2, to be decided, 2024. You can prepare for a chilling twist on a classic character as Pooh Bear makes a comeback, but this time he's not the lovable, honey-seeking bear we all know from the children's stories. In Blood and Honey 2, Pooh has undergone a sinister transformation and wields a sledgehammer and a taste for bloodshed. Oh bother. Writer and director Reese Frake Waterfield promises a sequel that's bigger and badder, featuring new creature designs, an elevated death count, and a fresh cast. This time, the action shifts from 
from the 100 acre wood to the tranquil community of Ashdown. Tallulah Evans leads the cast, starring alongside Scott Chambers as Christopher Robin and Ryan Olivia as Winnie the Pooh. Simon Callow joins the ensemble as a character named Cavendish. The screenplay for Blood and Honey 2 was crafted by Matt Leslie, based on a story he co-authored with Frank Waterfield. Behind the camera, Sean Harrison takes on the role of the head of the creature, or shall I say, gore designer, and Paula Ann Brooker oversees special effects. With an increased budget, the sequel is set to deliver a shocking and gore-filled cinematic experience. Producer Scott Jeffrey, known for directing a low-budget slasher adaptation of Bambi, is confident that audiences will be blown away by this unique and twisted take on a beloved childhood character. Never Let Go, To Be Decided, 2024. Halle Berry is set to star in the upcoming 2024 movie Never Let Go. Directed by Alexander Aya, known for works like The Hills of Eyes, Crawl, and Oxygen, the film delves into the sinister realms of a family tormented by an evil spirit. The storyline revolves around a mother, portrayed by Berry, and her fraternal twin sons, who've endured years of haunting by an evil spirit. They believe their family's protective bond is the key to survival. However, when one of the boys begins to question if the spirit is real or just a figment of their collective imagination, their connection fractures, setting the stage for a nightmarish battle for survival. While an official release date from Lionsgate is yet to be confirmed, production for the film commenced in spring 2023, signalling a likely 2024 release. The project is under the direction of Alexander Aya, with a screenplay by Kevin Coughlin and Ryan Graspy. Halle Berry also serves as an executive producer. Faces of Death to be decided, 2024. Faces of Death, a forthcoming film directed by Daniel Goldhaber, is the filmmaker's return to the horror genre. Goldhaber gained recognition for his directorial debut, Cam, in 2018, and further acclaim came his way in 2022 with the crime thriller How to Blow Up a Pipeline. Now in 2024, he's back making horror films. This movie's storyline revolves around a woman who encounters disturbing videos that recreate death scenes from films on an online platform similar to YouTube. She's tasked with filtering out violent and offensive content and is grappling with the personal trauma. Things go south for her when she stumbles upon a group dedicated to reenacting the murders depicted in the original 1978 film. The movie boasts a cast that includes former Euphoria star Barbie Ferreira, Stranger Things actor Dacra Montgomery, and Saved by the Bell alum Josie Tota, among others. Despite the excitement surrounding the film, no official release date has been confirmed, but it's expected to be released in 2024. Radio Silence Monster Thriller, April 19th, 2024. Angus Cloud, Catherine Newton and Will Catlett have joined the cast of Universal Pictures' upcoming untitled Monster Thriller by Radio Silence. The film is scheduled for release on April 19th, 2024. This trio of actors will star alongside Melissa Barrera, Alicia Weir, Dan Stevens and Kevin Durand. The production is in collaboration with producers Chad Vilela, William Sherak, Paul Neinstein and James Vanderbilt from Project X Entertainment. The script was originally penned by Stephen Sheen with revisions contributed by Guy Busick. This monster thriller, much like Universal's recent successes in The Invisible Man and Renfield, will strive to be a breath of fresh air as far as iconic and classic monster legends are concerned. The production team, including Trip Vinson, Radio Silence and Project X, recently celebrated the success of Scream 6, which grossed $169 million globally. Scream 6 also set a franchise record for its opening. Catherine Newton, known for her roles in Freaky, Big Little Lies, Lady Bird and many others, will be part of this thrilling project. Her recent works include Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and the Map of Tiny Perfect Things. Her versatile acting experience will undoubtedly add depth to this film. Adrift, to be decided, 2024. In 2024, horror enthusiasts might be in for a spine-chilling treat courtesy of filmmaker Darren Aronofsky and actor Jared Leto. The film, aptly titled Adrift, has been long anticipated, reuniting Aronofsky and Leto since their work on Requiem for a Dream. The supernatural horror takes place on a ship and delves into the uncharted waters of the afterlife. It draws inspiration from a short story by Koji Suzuki. Adrift is under the watchful eye of Blumhouse, a renowned name in the horror game, signalling the potential for genuinely hair-raising cinematic experiences. With initial expectations for production to kick off in 2023, a 2024 release date is tantalisingly close for those eagerly awaiting Aronofsky and Leto's foray into the realm of the supernatural. And if you've reached this point of the video, I'm sure you'd be interested in our video on superhero movies that will hit the theatres in 2024. Do check it out. And of course, if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.